the degree of articulation that is helpful to us in public speaking is bigger than we find in normal conversation. And I think we lose touch with that because so much of our speaking now is miniaturized. We talk into telephones. We tend not to think in terms of the magnified presence required for addressing an audience. Now, um, let's look at a word like picked. Say picked. Picked. Okay. okay, it's a short word. It's a simple word, right? One syllable, but three distinct consonant sounds, right? The P, the CK, and the D. Although the D really, honestly, is said more like a T. Picked. We have to be careful with these final consonant sounds. This is something I notice again and again, and I notice it as much in native speakers of English as non-native speakers of English. Everybody is forgetting the final consonant sounds in words. We need to complete words. And you will find that good articulation, clear articulation, will do a lot of the work of projecting your voice. And so you don't have to worry so much about being loud. Projection is not just a matter of being loud. Being clear is very helpful to your projection. All right. Can you say Topeka? Topeka. 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 Now whisper it. Topeka. Topeka. So can you feel that middle front back? Topeka. Topeka. Now can you say bodega? Bodega. Topeka bodega. Topeka bodega. So, bodega, that's front, middle, back, bodega. Bodega. And you notice, topeka, those are all unvoiced consonants. Bodega, those are all voiced, right? So when you say a B or a D or a hard G, a G, you have to prepare the sound for an instant. You have to gather the vibration, and then you pop it out there. 